The last property that we're going to talk about is called the distributive property. Now the distributive property illustrates why this is true. The distributive property says that any term multiplied by the terms on the inside of the parentheses in a group will be multiplied by each of those terms over addition. And a term, by the way, is a number that is separated by an addition or a subtraction sign. So, we're going to distribute the 5 through multiplication to the 4, and that should be 5 times 4. And then we add that to the 5 being distributed multiplied to the 3 as well, which is 5 times 3. If you want to just check this out to make sure that it's true, let's do it. Typically, you think that you need to do parentheses first for order of operations. This isn't a necessary thing to do, but it's conventionally what we do, so let's just give it a try. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 times 5, because the multiplication is being distributed to each term, and that is 35. Here, I have 5 times 4, which is 20 plus 5 times 3, which is 15. Well, 20 plus 15 is 35, and both of these give you the same answer. So the distributive property says any term can be distributed to the inside terms, inside the parentheses, through multiplication. But that multiplication gets distributed to each term. That's why it's called the distributive property of multiplication over the additions that are present. Hope you enjoy these properties.